this is the moment. We've been training all these months for this moment. So we have to push hard, like hard, hard. I'm lighter than this. <laughs> like I'm, I'm very, very brown right now. <laughs> The training for the games, it's way different than the training that you were doing in the beginning of the season in February for the Open and quarterfinals and semifinals. Why? It's a lot of strongmen, a lot of conditioning, a lot of heavy weights, and that's why like this type of training to go to the games is like so, so hard. You get all that heavy weight and that, at a high intensity that you get so, so tired. And plus, the heat here in, in Florida. Like, I'm just telling you, look at how, how, how sweaty I am. Don't do this at home. Nutrition, it's the foundation of everything we do. It's fuel, you know? Caffeine, it's one of the best pre-workouts that you can have. It helps with your sport, like your performance. If it's taken 30 minutes before the workout, that way you can use it during the workout. You know what I mean? Then for the rest of the day, I will get energy from carbohydrates, protein, and all that. So my elbows hyperextend a lot. So I always have to like do like floss band, and warm it up like really good because if not, it hurts a lot. They all, they always laugh at me because I'm always with the band in my in my elbow. Like, wait a minute, warming up. Look at this. I fell from my bike and I had to stop the training so I wasn't able to complete the workout. The next day I couldn't even squat. But now it's getting better. But I was still like scared, you know? PTSD, kind of. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> my go-to warm-up for all these things is glutes all the time. Glutes, glutes, glutes. <laughs> doing a, a strongman workout it's gonna be four sets you go I go of four different exercises we're gonna do 100 feet overhead Joe carry and then we're gonna go that one the searcher one and then burpees and then for the last one it's gonna be handstand walk we're gonna do a lot of tricks handstand walk periods lateral backwards and all that All training is being under the sun and it's crazy crazy like if a workout is hard if you do it under the sun it's the double or even the triple because when you want to breathe you just get like hot air you know you don't feel like you're breathing at all I'll try to get the four sets unbroken but that was hard I hope I can you think I can <laughs> Come on, show me some faith. <laughs> it's super get so tired and then you ask yourself why you're doing this it becomes a relationship you know you have another husband another like you have a girlfriend you have like all that when you prepare to compete in CrossFit you have to be good at mostly everything in grid league it's not the same not not the same but in grid league you just have to prepare for like what you're really good at you know we have like 20 people and every single person has a Roll. I'm an utility player, so I can do heavy weights, I can do body weight things, I can do some gymnastics, but we also have gymnastics players, we have weightlifting players. Basically, I'm here in the United States because of Grit League. <laughs> None of these, like me going to the games, 
would have happened if it wouldn't be because of Credlick. My One of my dreams, it was always to speak English. Like, I really wanted to speak English, but I always lived in South America. Like, I was living in Venezuela, and then I moved to Argentina, and you have to speak Spanish. Like, you didn't have any anyone to practice with, you know? Credlick really helped me. I came here first to compete in Gridley and I was training in, with an American like every single day, like every single day and I just learned. Every time I will read a text, I will try to translate it and like try to see the words that I didn't know and I will try to like remember it and like learn new words every day, you know, and then I did it. My husband met me because of Gridley. He found like a video of me doing a snatch. He watched that video and then he told me, he said like, damn, who's that girl? He had to reach out to a friend. She told me that um, a person reached out to her and that he wanted to meet me and I'm like, weirdo. <laughs> he went to a competition to say hello and that was the first time I saw him in person and I was like, oh God, I fell in love. Love at first sight. <laughs> If I'm not doing uh, CrossFit like competitions anymore, I'm gonna do Gridley, anyways, <laughs> because it's so much fun. I love it. When you wanna go somewhere, you go alone. But if you wanna go further, you go with someone, right? I'm very lucky. I am in a team that love to be together, and like we have so much fun every time we're together, and we have like a really, really good, good connection. Sometimes we do team workouts, synchronized workouts, and we don't even have to talk to each other. Like we're that connected. I feel we created that just because we are all as committed as we need to be. We're always giving our 100% all the time, and I feel that's what makes us uh, stick together. I want to be seen as a motivation, but also as a person that can help you. I've been training my entire life and I've always have like athletic body, but I will always like to like wear a small bikini. As a woman, you can be sexy and like feminine and also have muscles. 